Hi, this is Jim from Elliot. Many of you have been getting the offline license of Calypso during the pandemic and want to know how to set it up properly. So today I'm going to show you how to make a simple machine tab uh, for a Contura machine so that you can start simulating Calypso on your own at home uh, while you are working to get better so that you can hit the ground running when you get back after all this is cleared up. So remember, like, subscribe, and keep in touch with us for more videos on Calypso. In order to configure your offline system, uh, you must first go to Extras and Settings and choose the CMM option. And this will bring up the menu here for configuring your CMM. The first thing that we should note that in order to create our new CMM, we have to add a measuring system to our, our set of tabs down at the bottom. You can see I've got a couple here already that I'm using. Let's go to the Measurement uh, System option here. And we'll go ahead and type in a name that we want to use. And I'm going to configure a Contura today. Go ahead and press Enter. And then you can click the Add button. If we start at the top under the Control option, you can see that this is a Zeiss 32-bit control in simulation mode. We don't want to connect yet. We'll have to prepare all of our settings first. If this is going to be your primary setting that you wish to use, you can choose the reconnect during system start, but I recommend that you choose this option after you've connected at least once to make sure everything's working the way you want. Under the machine tab, you can see that we have a Prismo as our default setting. We're using a Contura today. From the list, select Contura. This is the current model Contura and some of the older models are present as well. The size of your Contura is going to be a value in the X, Y, and Z measured in millimeters. The default setting is a 700 by 1000 by 600 machine. And this is actually the size of the Contura that's in my laboratory at Elliott Machinery. We don't have a dual arm on this machine, so we can skip this one, but we definitely have a probe. The probe that we're using today is found here the Vast XT Gold, and we're using the MT plate. This is the regular standard plate that you see here inside of this picture. We don't need to set anything for the stylus system for the Vast XT. If you have an RDS system, there is sometimes settings that you may wish to apply here. We don't have a rotary table on our machine, so we can ignore this step as well. Under the panel option, this is the default panel. Since we're working offline, it doesn't really matter very much, but this is the default one with newer CMMs. The temperature settings won't affect you offline, but out of interest, these values are typically set to zero. This is because of the glass scales that you would find on machines like the Contura that give it a zero coefficient of thermal expansion. The interface option is set here, you can leave this at a default setting. If we were connecting to a CMM, we would have the IP address here. But since this is strictly offline, no IP address is necessary. In fact, we don't need any of these other settings at all. Let's go back to the control setting and connect to our CMM. It will initialize a number of files in the background and then give us this very important message that our master probe will be created using a type vast XT. If you've done this setting, that means everything has worked properly. Go ahead and push OK. And now your CMM is ready for you to use. Take a check out our video on the style system creator and learn about how to make a star probe. You could create a star probe to use in your contour simulation. For more information, and more help, contact us at elliotmachinery.com. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to get more great videos on Calypso.